Mr. Math here, thanks for watching my videos. Be sure to like and subscribe and remember to click the bell icon to be notified of updates. Hello again viewers, welcome back to Let's Play Pikmin 4. You can see obviously that I've returned to the title screen and the reason I've done that is because I made an amazing discovery. Check this out. Go into story mode and multiple save files. <laughs> Look at that multiple save files. Can you believe it? The only other first party Nintendo game I can think of offhand that has multiple save files on the Switch or even the Wii U for that matter, is Metroid Dread. This is the second game that I can think of. First, the second actual Nintendo developed game that has multiple save files. I mean, they for, they, it's like they completely forgot about this like 10 years ago. And now suddenly it seems to be making a little bit of a comeback. But now, since there are multiple save files, I can copy my save file so that now, just in case something goes wrong, I can simply revert back to where it hadn't gone wrong yet. You know, in almost every other game on the Switch, in order to be able to do that, you have to have another player profile and just start up a new save file on that player profile. It's really ridiculous. But at least with Pikmin 4, you have options now. Good job, Nintendo. Keep it up. Remember that you can have multiple save files, please. Loading, loading, loading. Keep them Pikmin loading. Here we go. Rescue mission day two. We saw this little animation already, but eh, here we go. <clears throat> so there's our purple haired, green suited uh, avatar. All right, I guess this is everyone. I call this strategy meeting to order. Copy that. Here's the latest status report. As of today, two rescue officers and one rescue pup have been recovered thanks to the efforts of Mr. Math. However, the whereabouts of the other four rescue officers remain unknown and the SS Shepard is out of commission. All things considered, our primary mission, the rescue of Captain Olimar, has run into some roadblocks. Our first priority is now the search and rescue of our fellow rescue officers. Mr. Math, Ochi, fly to the area where our radar picked up those distress signals and try to track down our missing personnel. Colin and I will remain with the ship. We'll provide direction and guidance from here. Don't worry, we'll be available via the SS Shepard's wireless communication at all times, so you'll have our full support. I wouldn't typically assign so much responsibility to a rookie, but after seeing you in action, I know you can handle it. Plus, you'll be in good pause with Ochi by your side. You two make a great team. Come on. Captain, what about our search for Captain Olimar? Should we officially put it on pause? Marco. No, we may still find him during our hunt for the other rescue officers. I'll keep it on our mission list, just in case. Oh. On that note, I hereby call the strategy meeting to a close. Rescue. Copy that. Mission, rescue Olimar. Captain Olimar is shipwrecked on this unknown planet. Discover his whereabouts while you search for missing rescue corps officers. Alright then. Collect 1500 units of sparkling and finish the day. Okay. This is what it said at the uh, beginning of the previous video. Collect 1500 units, units of sparkling and finish the day. So what that actually means is not finish the first day just finish whichever day you're on. Okay. Alright, let's see here. Are you free to chat real quick? Sure. 
You'll be pleased to learn that I installed a few new apps onto your tablet. I'm sure you'll find them more than useful when you're out in the field, so check them out when you have a spare minute. Now that we have that sorted out, are you ready to get out there and explore? Ready to explore. Which area would you like to explore? Well, apparently we only have the one. Sun Speckled Terrace. Zero percent. Rescues, zero out of, huh? Treasures, zero out of, huh? Onions, zero out of, huh? Multiple onions, huh? Well, that makes sense. I mean, the uh, other colors of Pikmin have always come in their own onions. Looks like there might be a missing rescue officer here. We need to get out there and find them. Travel to the Sun Speckled Terrace now? Sure. We go. Oh, the onion's going too. Sun Speckled Terrace. Progress is 0%. By pressing minus to open options, you can access useful info like more detailed instructions in the gameplay guide. Open the tablet with plus, then press B to access the other apps in the tablet menu. If you have Ochi, transport prey on the. Okay. Thanks for not letting me read that all the way through, game. Okay, we got some uh, little ball orbs there. And that looked like a fiery blow hog. Okay, first things first. Oh. Come in, come in. This is Colin. Looks like you made it there in one piece. Hang on, I'll have the captain explain how today's rescue operation will work. See the clock at the top left corner of your screen? It's set up so that the hand will reach the rightmost edge of the area's local sunset time. Search for our missing rescue officers during the day, but hustle back to the rescue command post before dark. Copy that. We're counting on you. Oh, you probably noticed that the onion accompanied the SS Beagle. According to the voyage log, the onion also serves as the form of transportation for the Pikmin. Um. We've got a lot to do and can take all the help we can get. I think you should put those Pikmin to good use. Okay. Before we call out the Pikmin... Status report, eh? Okay. Recent updates. Progress on the Sun Speckled Terrace. Pikmin numbers. Mission. Rescue Olimar. Secure energy source. And rescue the rescue core. Okay. So this is the new one here. Captain Olimar shipwrecked on this unknown planet. Discover his whereabouts while you search for missing rescue corps officers. Right. Voyage log. The Pikmin nest. As evening fell, the Pikmin climbed back up into the onion and took to the skies alongside the SS Dolphin. Astonishing. The onion must be both a nest and a form of transportation. Okay. Minus rewind time. Okay. <laughs> hmm. So I can rewind time. Like how far? All the way back to the start of the day. Hmm. Shortcut settings. Missions is up. Uh, status report? That looks more pretty useful. Uh, let's see. Look ahead. What? What's that? I've forgotten. Let's look ahead. Um, let's, let's 
do ID badges and then voyage log. Okay. And I can just automatically end the day. Let's not do that. Um, why did that whistle to Ochi? You need to complete a task, press A. Pikmin will happily assist. Um, darn it, that's not what I wanted to do. Pikmin to carry it. I don't know if that makes a difference, but it does in previous games. Oh, darn it. I keep on trying to push B, but I'm pushing A instead. Okay, let's see here. What's that over there? Oh, that flower there from, a, from the angle, it kind of looked like a Pikmin. And I was like, what's a Pikmin doing over there? Don't get that yet. Careful, there's something up ahead. I took care of that. Okay, that's fine. already reached the limit. Huh? Why isn't anything coming out? Judging from the life science, it looks like Pikmin numbers have increased inside the onion, but then... Maybe Pikmin have evolved to self-limit how many can be out on the surface at a time to prevent unnecessary loss. Hmm. That's a pretty small limit. So my limit's 20. It's always been 100 in previous games. Hmm. That's a pretty rock, isn't it? It doesn't seem like treasure, but it might be useful. I'll check Captain Olimar's voyage log. Raw materials. One could mistake this raw material for a simple stone, but it has more in common with amber and other fossilized biological matter. When heated, it melts into a brown clay and becomes malleable. I should be able to find many applications for it. Okay. I'm a fair hand with machines, but I don't know much about materials science. If we had our scientist back, I bet he'd be able to make good use of this. Collect it for now. He'll be excited to have something to work with after we find him. Come in, Mr. Math. I forgot an important detail. That is, you're going to need Ochi's help when it comes to searching for the rescue officers. He has a sharp sense of smell, so he'll be able to locate the rescue officers by tracking their scents. Use Y... Hold, hold down Y to open actions, and then use the left stick to select a search command. To begin with, command Ochi to pick up a scent. You never know where his nose may lead you. Rescue operations are a race against time, so put your Dandori skills to work to find our rescue officers quickly. 
You look a little confused. Have you never heard the term Dondori before, Mr. Math? How to explain? Dondori is the art of organizing your tasks strategically and working with maximum efficiency to execute your plans quickly. Its practice has fallen by the wayside in recent years, but is still a core tenet of the Rescue Corps, so take it to heart. Embracing the art of Dondori is essential to our work, and you'll need it out there while searching for our rescue officers. To get things started, open the Y actions and command Ochi to sniff out our missing comrades. Okay, okay. Enough talk. Let's see. Command. Disp disband. Leave all but Ochi here. Oh, okay. Hmm. I okay, so if I just... I don't have to hold the left stick. Hmm. Okay, so hold Y, command, confirm, pick up a scent, ask your puff to sniff out any castaways, ask your puff to sniff out some treasure, um, castaways? Follow the scent, Ochi. Is this getting us to the materials scientist? Hmm. Another little ball board up ahead. cave here too. This area is crawling with creatures. Our rescue officers could have retreated into the cave to get away from them. Well, we should probably take a look inside. My Pikmin with me. Which way did I come from? This way. I came from this way, didn't I? Geez, I don't know this place well enough yet. I keep getting turned around. Okay. New tablet. Okay, what's in the tablet? I noticed you looking at the radar map just now. Why don't I tell you about a handy little function it has? The system will mark discovered caves and cleared areas with uh, that down symbol or the left-right symbol. I'm not sure <laughs> how else to call them. If you go to that spot, the symbol disappears. It's a very useful way to keep track of your objectives. ZL, look this way. No, I need to go this way. Hmm, that big old shiny thing up there. I wonder how I'm supposed to get to it. Looks out of my reach right now. Alright, well. Nothing ventured, nothing gained, I suppose. I wonder if there might be a voyage log entry related to these coordinates. Yep, here it is. Last Frost Cavern. I entered a cave to look for SS dolphin parts and found a creature that defies the logic of space. It further surprised me by expelling frigid cold air. 
Imagine if there were Pikmin that had been acclimated to that cold air. This planet's ecosystem is full of mysteries. Huh. An icy blowhog. Take a look at this. That Captain Olimar certainly is thorough, isn't he? According to the log, anytime you enter a cave, you should take Pikmin with you. The SS Beagle can bring the Pikmin, so you can enter the cave without stopping by the base first. The Pikmin that remain on the surface can't just be left out here, so let's return them to the youngin for the time being. Um... Okay, I'm a little confused. Um, okay, so it lets me uh, choose Pikmin from here. Okay, that's hmm convenient. So I don't have to go all the way back to the Onion to choose my Pikmin. I can just choose them right here. Last Frost Cavern Sublevel 1, The Art of Dondori. Dondori is the art of organizing your tasks strategically and working efficiently to execute your plans. Try to practice it in everyday life. I don't have Pikmin to toss around for me in everyday life. Good boy, Ochi. He's picked up a castaway scent. It has to be one of our missing rescue officers. Time to get them back safely. interesting. There looks like there are some Pikmin fighting the icy blowhog over there. Must be the ice Pikmin. this? That's not treasure. Huh. Treasure or not, it does appear to contain some sparkling. You might as well keep collecting those defeated creatures. They may be enough to help, even if only a little. Hmm. So, if I was mad enough, I could just grind on those tiny little guys until I got 1,500 sparkling. Okay, I can't make Ochi rush. Is he not big enough yet? Okay. Like there's really nothing else I can do besides collecting this thing. Since Oshi oh since Ochi refuses to rush. Hello, hello. Good, we need all the energy we can get. Yeah, okay, they're not doing anything. Oh. It's actually showing me a little cutscene oh, here. Huh, no use beating their head against this problem any longer. Unbreakable, it would seem. Too bad. Alright, but then what do I do? I can't get through here. See what Ochi has to say. Follow the scent, Ochi. Ochi can't track the scent past here. Okay, seriously, what am I supposed to do then? Oh, 
Treasure, perhaps? Letting me do the rush. Or. Oh, okay. Huh. Did you see that? It bloomed a flower. What's going on here? Hmm, that substance is called nectar. When Pikmin consume it, it stimulates their growth, apparently. The voyage log says that the more they grow, the faster they move. They really are mysterious creatures. Okay, so the way to have Ochi rush is by selecting him first. And then... Okay. New tablet. Ah, okay. Rescue journal. Command. All right. Hold down Y and the left stick to command your rescue pup to sniff them out. Okay. And here's Olimar's Pikmin maturation thing about the nectar. And the red Pikmin are immune to fire. Their attacks are also a little bit stronger. Raw materials. One could mistake this raw material for a simple stone. Blah, blah, blah. We already saw that one. Lost Frost Cavern. Ditto. We already saw that one. Are those wild Pikmin? Hmm, okay, I have to defeat this guy before I can call him in. Pikmin. Are these Pikmin too? Let's see, the voyage log says Ice Pikmin. I always thought of Pikmin as plant like creatures, so I never dreamed I'd come across an ice variant. Ice Pikmin can use their icy bodies to freeze water and creatures, but they also float like ice in the water. Don't spray them with water though, they really don't like it. Their bodies are made of ice? Who knew that something frozen could move around like that? It's incredible. Huh? That seems like a lot of Pikmin. Is your squad bigger than normal? Oh, I see. When you're underground, you can have a larger squad because the wild Pikmin you find will join you. Any more nectar? Oh, looks like the nectar's all gone. That's a shame. Go 
Come on, guys. Put your backs into it. Oh, right, that just gave me sparklium. I was, uh, I was still thinking, you know, take the monsters back so that you can sprout more Pikmin. Are you using the radar map? Plus. Press plus to look at unexplored locations. There's something back here, huh? Looked like maybe some kind of uh, uh, onion thingy mabobber. <laughs> Sheer grub. I know there's going to be more of them. Yep. Come on, stop focusing on things, you. that? Some kind of treasure it would appear. And why are these things shaking? Oh, look at that. Hmm. A new onion? The Ice Pikmin's onion, perhaps? Oop, darn it. Does it look like it's sputtering? It looks pretty pale for an onion. What do you think? Should we take it with us? Yes, but first, shortcut. Gotta see what happens. Huh? This onion is different somehow. Let's take it back to the surface so we can compare it with the other onion. Something tells me I'm supposed to use the ice guys. Look out. Just like that, frozen solid. I bet you can break it if you hit it now. Give the order to the Pikmin or Ochi. Hydro jelly burst. Okay, so that's how it, that's how they freeze stuff. 
Okay, I'll come back for you in just a mo. Found a castaway. Hurry and check their vitals. Pulse, blood pressure, temperature, all within normal parameters. Looks like their life support system did its job. We should transport them back to the SS Beagle and verify their ID badge. <laughs> Literally dragging him back. else in here? No, just the exit looks like. Okay. Got flowers on all of them. You did it! Let's take a look and see what ID badge what the ID badge tells us. Hmm. Oh. Hey, this is Russ from Gia. An inventor, material engineer, aha, and lover of all things science. He can develop all kinds of useful gadgets with the right raw materials. Sure enough, we're getting the materials scientist. <laughs> oh, thank the stars he's alright. This is Russ, the scientist in charge of repairs and upgrades for our spacesuits in the SS Shepard. His technical knowledge will be beyond helpful during this rescue mission. Found the scientist. You found Russ, the rescue corps' talented scientist. Keep searching for the rest of the rescue officers. Okay. Are you all done down here? If so, you can make your way to the exit. So I have to go to the exit? I can't go back up there? That's a different way to do it. Hmm. Is there a way to extend the range on... No, I can't seem to extend the range of the throw reticule there. Anyway. Return to the surface from here. Pikmin currently outside. Your squad will come with you. Okay, so unlike Pikmin 2, the entry and exit for caves is not the same spot. So we rescued Russ. We got um, 198 Sparklim. Okay. There's really... Boy, that investigation complete sign just uh, really slapped me in the face here. But yeah, there looks like there's really no point to taking the uh, corpses of fallen foes. I mean, you could grind them for Sparklium, but why bother? Go back. So we've got the Director of Destiny, the Refreshing Goo, and eight Sparklium worth of creatures. One rescue, two treasures, and one onion. Let's see. So we've, uh, we didn't lose any Pikmin and we gained 10 Ice Pikmin. Rescue Command Post. Don't worry about the time at the Rescue Command Post. Walk around, talk to folks, and make sure you're prepared before you go explore. 
Really? So time doesn't move over there, only out here. Okay. Co-op mode. Player 2 can toss small stones at creatures when they use the pebble pitcher, allowing two players to explore side by side. I'm sure I synchronized your clock, Mr. Math, but something's off. No. I calculated the difference. It looks as if about one-sixth as much time passed on the surface as you spent underground. So it's not... You know, time doesn't just freeze completely. Huh. That's another difference from Pikmin 2. Time seems to move differently in the underground spaces on this planet. Honey. I'm not sure how it works, but I suppose that means you can take as much time as you need to explore caves. Hey, the onion sucked it up. The other onion, that is. The voyage log says that the white bulb is called Floric. As in garlic, but with FL. Okay. If we bring Floric to the onion, it will increase the number of pigment it releases onto the surface at any one time by 10. Whoa, that'll be a big help when you're exploring. Try taking out more pigment. I've already got the max. far from the SS Beagle. Ice Pikmin take it back. That should increase their numbers rather than the red Pikmin numbers. It should, but the number overhead is still red. Hmm. Onion produce different Pikmin? So onion color determines Pikmin type. So it still just produced reds? Yeah, hmm. Okay, I guess that's not how you make ice Pikmin. ourselves here a fiery blowhog. Now what? Huh, another circle of stones. We keep finding them in the most opportune locations. How interesting. 
Maybe Captain Olimar left them behind for us so we could track him down. Never mind that for now. I wonder if we're in this creature's territory. We should create a base here. Any Dondori master would tell you it's the most efficient way forward. But first, let's do something about that pesky creature already. I was about to. New base unlocked. Mm. Press A to call the SS Beagle to a base. Okay. Rugged Scaffold? What? Is that the name of the base location? under construction at some point? I wonder who was working on it. I'm sure we could put it to good use if it was finished. Wait, 30? Huh, okay. I can't freeze it. I don't have enough ice pick. How do I get more ice pigment? Okay, now I'm kind of... Kind of curious about getting back to um, the bigger ship. And, you know, making use of my materials scientist there. Russ, from Gia, an inventor, material engineer, and lover of all things science. Everyone's from Gia except me. I wonder if that's important somehow. Rescue journal. How to move the base. Voyage log. When an onion absorbs this whitish bulb, it seems to perk up and increases the Pikmin you can lead by 10. The scent reminds me of the garlic on my home planet. I'm tempted to have a nibble, but for now I'll just call it Flarlic and leave the taste test for another day. Ice Pikmin. I always thought Pikmin plant. Okay, we already saw that. Subterranean time warp. Hmm. It moves differently under it moves more slowly underground than it did up above, but it still moves. Yeah, that's a difference. Preservation instincts. The onion stopped releasing seeds. I went to check on it and saw that the Pikmin will only propagate inside the onion once a certain number are out on the surface. Could limiting the number of active Pikmin be a strategy to avoid extinction? Wild Pikmin. Wild Pikmin found underground can be brought to the surface and added to an onion. However, when tasked with transporting a pellet, the resulting seed ends up the same color as the onion. I must be careful as these Pikmin cannot be propagated right now. Hmm. What happens if I put the ice Pikmin back in the onion? Okay, I still have them. I was a little bit worried about trying that. Hmm. 
helped you. You'll want to keep a close eye on the creatures, but if they move around a lot, they can easily escape your line of sight. When that happens, there's a handy trick for keeping your sights and aim where you want them. Press ZR to fix your auto target lock and keep your aim focused on one target. It makes targeting nimble enemies or aiming while you're in motion a snap. Okay. This guy's pretty big, be careful. It, it froze? Don't just stand there. Now's your chance. Any that don't have flowers? They're all flowered, okay. Oh, look at the time. An important part of any rescue mission is making sure you make your way back to the base before it gets dark. According to Captain Olimar's voyage log, Pikmin will be safe as long as they make it back to this area around the base. Oh, it seems the creatures get even more aggressive at night. If any Pikmin are separated from the squad, you better collect them now. Pikachu. Great, no stray Pikmin to worry about. Press minus to end today's exploration. Hmm. I should probably just go ahead and do that. I'm actually running out of recording time. Saving. Okay. The pin mission objective will be displayed on the screen. You can tidy up the screen by unpinning the mission. Co-op mode. Pitch more than pebbles. As you earn more co-op points, you receive items to assist other players and help master your Dondori skills. Exploration results. We got one rescue. A decent amount of sparklium. Okay, so we've got 12% of the Sun Speckled Terrace explored. And a fair amount of raw material. So we've got 38 new Pikmin. Only 10 Ice Pikmin, though, and that's not enough. How do I get more Ice Pikmin? Hmm. Well, viewers, uh, like I said, I'm pretty much out of recording time, so I'm going to have to end things here. Thank you very much for watching. Let's play Pikmin 4. In the next episode, I guess we'll proceed on to Day 3, and I hope to see you then. Actually, viewers, a quick addendum here. Uh, we got this little cutscene at the end. Welcome back, Russ. Glad to see you made it here in one piece. Hee hee hee. Of course, Captain. I had no doubt the emergency escape system I developed would function perfectly. That may be, but it would have been helpful if you showed the rest of us how to actually use it. One would expect an emergency escape device to be a bit more intuitive to use in the event of an emergency. Anyhow, now that you're back, Russ... Can you tell us if you came across any 
fancy rocks like this before we found you? Kee hee, oh Colin, Colin, Colin. Not only did I see them, I've already completed a very thorough research on this material. I discovered that when heated, the rocks become soft and malleable and can be shaped into any form you desire. Its base properties can even change when exposed to different stimuli. It's quite a versatile raw material indeed. Cool. Cool doesn't even begin to describe it. This is the one, the ultimate biomass I've been searching for for my entire career. I'm currently upgrading the 3D printer so we can put this miracle material to use as soon as you bring it to the SS Beagle. It will be crucial to my work in the lab and any other building needs that might arise. What a spectacular update, Russ. I knew bringing along a material scientist would be key to our success. Starting tomorrow, I'm expecting our rescue operations to go even more smoothly than usual now that you're here. Okay. You found Russ, the Rescue Corps' talented scientist. Keep searching for the rest of the rescue officers. Saving, okay. Here's where we're going to end it. So, <laughs> repeating myself, but even so, thank you for watching, viewers. And we will start the next episode more or less right here. See you then.